Hi, this is Nikki from Sail Tahiti, and I'm delighted to show you around the Oyster 49 Kazin. Oyster are known for producing high quality and luxury yachts, and this Oyster 49 is a beautiful example of their workmanship. The Oyster 49 is an easy yacht to sail. She has an in-furling mainsail and uh, twin head sails. Her current owners are a family of four, and they've sailed her themselves uh, from Europe, uh, joining the Ark Rally and finding themselves now here in Tahiti. They bought Kaizen in 2017 and did a full refit in the Oyster Yard before they set sail. So we'll just take a walk around Kaizen now, both from the quayside and on the deck, so that you can get an idea of the excellent quality of the gel coats and of the teak and of the deck fittings uh, for a boat of this, uh, of this generation. To get a full idea of all the changes and improvements that the current owners have done to Kaizen, I recommend that you download the inventory, as I'm just going to note a couple of them as we walk around. But I can say without a doubt that she's one of the most beautifully maintained boats that I've had the pleasure of visiting. So Kaizen's standing rigging is from 2017 and upgraded to die form. So all the sails are made by Sander sails are in cruising carbon laminate. Um, the main sail new in 2020 and the big uh, outer Genoa new in 2019. And you can see from the start of this video the ease there is in deploying these sails. Uh, the owner is able to do this single-handed without any trouble at all. So as you can see, the cockpit is a center cockpit. It's deep, meaning that it's quite protecting, which is great for a family during ocean cruising. Kaizen has a complete set of electronics available in the cockpit. You'll see that there's a folding wheel helm uh, making circulation in the cockpit a little easier. On the left, you can see a Raymarine multi-instrument for speed, etc. In the middle, the bow thruster controls, and on the right, the new I-70 series auto helm instrument. Uh, down below, uh, what we're looking at on the left is the engine controls. Uh, on the right, uh, we'll see the deck light, boom light, etc. control switches. Um, and then as we go over to the right, you'll see there's the uh, control panel for the fusion entertainment system. So let me just show you how easy it is to put the helm into working wheel position, which you would use when sailing, um, and then obviously fold it back, which you would use when you were at anchor. You can see you just screw the locks into place. And before I forget, up at the top of the screen is a stand for uh, a tablet, uh, which can connect to your Raymarine electronics um, and show your chart plotter information as well as other boat information uh, while you're sailing. So here the operation switch for one of the two primary electric winches. Going forward we'll have a look at the engine panel. And just above the Raymarine chart plotter, it's a 12-inch screen showing radar information and obviously chart information and, and boat stats. There's also the original set of ST60 instruments with speed, wind, um, depth, etc. Still in perfect working condition. And here are the clutches for the halyards and sheets uh, allowing you to do all your sail handling from the cockpit. So let me just fold out uh, the teak cockpit table for you. As with everything on this boat, perfectly maintained and looked like it's been painted with uh, Tonkinois or some other good quality uh, varnish. So let's take a look at the teak deck on Kaizen, still in absolutely beautiful condition, uh, as you can see. Uh, one of the trademarks of the Oyster are the large uh, panel windows, uh, both side and forward, which you'll see uh, as we head inside the boat. And here are the anchor gear with 100 meters of stainless steel chain, uh, again in keeping with the overall quality of material on the boat. Um, as we go up, you'll see the two overspec furlers for the working Genoa and smaller jib. Uh, and here the four deck cushions, new in 2020, and you can actually, actually leave them in place while you sail. They fit on really firmly. The mast is sailed in stainless steel. And as we look over the fittings, you can see here the boom vang, uh, absolutely perfect condition. Uh, same thing with the boom, uh, perfect condition. Uh, the mainsail infurling mechanism regularly serviced. Uh, and just for a reminder, the mainsail, new in 2020, uh, a carbon fiber cruising laminate. The old stale is still on board as a working spare. Kaizen is fully equipped for the cruising life on board with a solar installation to complement the generator. Here you can see the spray hood, which has a fold-down central panel, and the bimini, both in excellent condition and recently installed. There are also some robust davits and a good quality tender, which is always essential during cruising. And here you can see the after deck, which is really quite a large space um, with a couple of lockers, good for storage. One last thing I wanted to show you um, before we close up today 
is uh, the set of custom jack stays that um, the owners of Kaizen have had installed uh, with the te tethers uh, measured precisely so that you are well positioned inside the safety zone of the boat. They run all the way forward and all the way aft uh, and as you can see use good quality carabiners which won't um, clip on anything or catch on anything uh, inadvertently uh, in usage. It's been a great pleasure to show you the top sides of Kaizen this morning. We do have a follow-on video showing the beautiful interior. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you want to see all our videos as they come out.